Hello, my name is Alice. I'm going to do a review on my incognito braces today. Um, I want to do this because when I was going to get mine, I wanted to, you know, read some reviews and watch some videos and stuff to try and um, help me make up my mind about them. And I couldn't really find many. Um, I don't think they're that common. Or maybe just people who get them don't really do reviews, but um, it would have really helped me if there were more out there. So I thought I would do one myself, and that way hopefully I can help other people make their decisions about getting them. Um, I've had them for about two weeks now. The first week was not good, I'm not going to lie, it was sore. Um, I basically didn't talk the whole time. Um, I'm sure any of you who are considering getting them have read that you get this lisp um, from first having them put on. It wasn't even the lisp really, it was the fact that every time my teeth would touch to you know, do a T or an S or anything, you, I would just get these shooting pains in my teeth. Even that wasn't the worst though because you kind of expect a certain level of pain in your teeth when you get braces because they're going to be pulled in all different directions so obviously it's going to be sore but um, the worst was my tongue I really didn't think my tongue would be that sore um, when you think about it I guess it sounds logical if there's metal on the inside of your mouth your tongue is going to be sore but I just didn't quite expect it to be this bad by now, my tongue is absolutely fine. It's really toughened up very quickly, but at the time it was just awful. It was practically impossible to eat anything because, I mean, I guess until you have something there obstructing you, you don't realize how many times you move your tongue around in your mouth when you're eating. It was just so difficult, and every time I would try and chew, my tongue was scraping up against the brackets, and it got really, really sore. I got lots of um, kind of ulcers down the sides of my tongue um, and you can't really do anything about those. Um, all you can do really is use dental wax, which was my best friend during the first week of my braces. I just put it all over the brackets all the time. I only ever took it off to eat and then I would put it straight back on afterwards to give my tongue time to recover. Um, apart from that, all I found that gave a little bit of relief was Bongella. Um, I know it's supposed to be for teething and stuff, but um, I did find that if I put that on the on the ulcers on my tongue, that it did help quite a lot because it kind of numbs it for a while. Um, so that's what I would usually do after eating because usually that's when it would be the worst. Um, once you kind of get over the eating and the and the talking, you kind of um, you lose the list because once you're over that part, you your speech is kind of adapted. You, I suppose when you're making T's and D's and stuff, um, your tongue goes right to the front of your mouth and it touches the back of your teeth. Um, after a while you kind of, you adapt to that and you, you find a new way to make those sounds. It's hard to explain until you actually do it. But, I mean, I don't know if you can tell whether I've still got a little bit of a lisp or not. I can hear it a little bit but nobody else, I mean, nobody's told me that they can hear it now. Um, apparently it's completely gone. But that's good because I have to um, be on the phone quite a lot for my job, so um, I'm quite glad it didn't take very long to go away. Um, so, as you can see, you can't see the braces at all because they're on the inside. Um, I would show you, but it's, it's not pretty. <laughs> um, Basically, my teeth aren't that bad, you know, whenever, when I told people I was going to get braces, um, basically, you know, people said, oh, you don't need to. Um, I suppose my teeth weren't the worst, but the thing is that when I was a teenager, I got braces, and they really didn't do a good job. So my teeth, over the past few years, have moved back to the way that they used to be, and I was just not happy with that. So I wanted to get them um, fixed. I would highly recommend incognito braces, although, you know, despite what I've said about the first week being hell, um, as long as you get past the first week and you don't get discouraged by that, once you're over that hurdle, it's really not so bad. You really get used to them. I practically don't feel them there at all anymore. 
Um, yeah, all I would say is that you just need to be patient. I get, it's like anything, you know, if something new is introduced to your body, your body will adapt to it, it just takes a little bit of time. Um, so yeah, basically I've had one checkup so far. I had a little bit of a problem um, with one of the brackets at the back, it came off and I swallowed it while I was eating. And also the wire bent inwards, which was then stabbing my tongue, so I had to have an emergency appointment to fix that, but um, obviously that's just something that happened to me, it's not going to happen to everybody. Um, I think my next appointment I'm going to get a new wire, a stronger one, because right now it's just the initial wire which is just um, loosening up my teeth, basically. So they've actually gotten a little bit worse than they were in the very beginning. Um, but like he said, you know, the dentist told me it's just initial movement, just loosening of the teeth, so it's nothing to worry about and it's only for like the first few weeks anyway, so then you start to see a positive change, but he said in the beginning, while they're just loosening, you can actually see it getting a bit worse before it gets better. But, no big deal, you know, it's a means to an end, in the end I'll have a Hollywood smile, so... <laughs> um, sorry about that, just knocked the table. So that's more or less it, I think, um... Yeah, I mean, I'll be back with an update when I have my next appointment, that's in another two weeks, so then that'll be one month of having them on. Um, I'm expecting next appointment to be quite, well not the actual appointment, but afterwards I'm expecting quite a bit of pain because he said that the next wire is going to be quite strong. So I think that my teeth will be quite sore after that. But I mean, I'm quite good with pain, it depends on how you are. I have quite a high pain threshold. So, a bit of paracetamol and ibuprofen, and then I'm usually fine. Um, yeah, so, I'll be back with my next update in about two weeks. And if you have any questions or anything, um, please don't hesitate to, you know, to message me or, or write a comment below. And I'll answer as many as I can. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!